Good evening, everyone. Today is the 28th of May, 2020. Um, it's 9.30 at night as I'm recording this. <laughs> um, I had an incredibly busy day. I got up and I just got started with things and got to evening and I went, you need to do your mug. So I need to do better with getting them early because I know some of you like to start your day with our morning mug. Um, I did put morning in, in quotes because I'm like, well, it's morning somewhere, but it's tomorrow morning. Apologies. But hey, I'm not giving up. I'm sticking to it. So today I thought I would do something a little bit different. Um, kind of go on a mini social studies teacher rant. Um, so instead of doing celebrity birthdays and trivia, you know, decided to mix it up. So instead of a cup of coffee, realizing at 9.30 at night, not a good idea, I thought I would make myself a cup, or in this case, a mug of tea, okay? So then I started thinking about tea and realizing it's actually quite a complex thing. So let's talk about tea. Why not? Um, so this is going to kind of be all over the place, not really a streamlined lesson, if you will. Um, but there is evidence of tea being consumed by humans at first, just chewing on the tea leaves. Um, but some evidence of human consumption of tea for thousands of years. Um, it takes about 2000 tiny tea leaves to make one pound of tea tea. Now you might say, well, there's all different kinds of tea. There's black tea and there's green tea and there's white tea. Those three types of tea come from the same plant. It's Latin name Camellia sinensis. Sinensis? S-I-N-E-N-S-I-S. Camellia sinensis, um, how it is harvested and how the leaves are processed give you those different types of teas. So back in 20... Twelve. All my years get stuck together. Back in 2012, when I was in China, we were able to go to a tea plantation um, and had the opportunity to actually pick the tea leaves. So we actually wore those those conical hats, those cone hats, um, but they also functioned as collection devices for our tea. So white tea is the rarest. So it's harvested when it's about just that long. Um, it is not fermented or dried very much before it's packaged. Green tea is a little bit um, longer. It's going to be steamed. Green tea is considered one of those like power foods, superfoods. It has antioxidant properties, antiviral properties. Um, it can help with weight loss. It can help with depression. And then there's black tea. That's the most processed of all the teas. And about 84% of the tea that's consumed worldwide is a variety of black tea. So the leaves are, are dried. They're fermented. That's what's going to turn them black before they are packaged and sold. Darjeeling tea, which is actually one of my favorites. And I'm realizing that I'm not drinking real Darjeeling tea. Um, it's called the Champagne of Teas because it's grown in a particular area of India at the base of the Himalayas. That's about 70 square miles. So yes, I think you get the idea. Um, with tea, you're less likely to have the caffeine crash. I don't know if anybody experiences that with, with sodas or with coffee you have one or two in the morning and then you get to three in the afternoon you start to get a headache and you just start to feel so the reason because although there is caffeine in tea because of the high level of antioxidant it kind of balances or kind of absorbs that caffeine i found that very interesting so tea has to have tea leaves in it what I'm actually drinking right now is not a tea. No, it is called a tazane or tazan, depending on one's pronunciation. The English tazane, sorry, tazan, tazane, if it's British. So a tazane, that's our word of the day. So if you are, we know you take the tea leaves and you steep them in hot water 
right? You're not actually consuming the tea leaves. So you have a tea bag or you have some sort of contraption that's holding the tea leaves, allowing it to brew, if you will, and then being removed. Um, and you don't consume that. In a tisane or tisane, you can use herbs, flowers, um, even berries, nuts, leaves. So right now I'm having some chamomile, chamomile, herbal tea. So if you see anything labeled that says herbal tea, it's not tea. And that's okay, as long as you enjoy it. But just so you know, it's a tisane, tisane, tisane. Um, so you can have tea, you can have black tea with peppermint. So that's still classified as a tea. The tea bag was not invented until the t early 20th century. The largest one, according to Guinness, uh, five, oh, sorry, 50, that number's not right. Hold on, drive me nuts. I'm gonna check. Largest tea bag, Guinness. There it is, okay. I was missing a number. 551 pounds, 551 pounds. It was 9.8 feet wide and 13 feet high. Um, it was done just for the Guinness um, record. Um, it'd be enough to make 100,000 cups of tea. That was in Saudi Arabia in 2014. So, trivia question that I'm going to ask again tomorrow. So, don't watch the next episode of The Mug unless, well, I'll repeat the trivia questions, you know. So, um, the first one, top three exporters of tea. What three countries are the top three exporters of tea? You might be surprised. Second trivia question, countries top three consumers per capita, not total population in a country because you know that's not fair. If we're comparing China to just about anybody else, that's not fair. But consumption per capita, give me those top three countries. Um, tea sales, about $38.8 billion back in 2013. Multiple uses for tea. You can marinate meat. You cut yourself shaving and have a little bit of a nick. You can put tea leaves on it. Did you know that? I did not until I did my quick research before talking to you. You can dye cloth. It's great for rose gardens. If anybody has roses, I don't know, if like Aunt Marianne, I don't know if you have roses or not. Put some tea down in the soil. They love that. They love that. Um, don't drink too much tea. Too much tea can have terrible side effects for your body, including renal failure. We don't want to go there. United States sales of tea, about 85% are iced. Here's like a language she question. When we say iced tea, I, like, you know, out in a restaurant and I say, I'd like iced tea. You're saying ice tea, but you want to say iced tea tea but it's hard for us I don't know if it's an English thing or if there is a if there's a technical name for it but iced tea iced tea I don't know um in the Himalayas in Tibet um to black tea uh some will add yak butter this is now on my list of things to try I will totally try this yak butter um in the tea Supposedly, the extra salt um, is good at the high altitudes. It's called pocha. It's the official national beverage of Tibet. <clears throat> so it wouldn't be a morning slash evening mug. I left him in my office. Whoops. Daily dose of Hanks, y'all. Uh, what? Yeah. Okay. So I got two of them for you. Both have clips that are in the description. Um, the first one, I'll save that for a second. The first one is a quote from the Da Vinci Code. So Tom Hanks played Robert uh, Langston. 
and Langdon, sorry. Um, and he's going to see his friend Lee Teabing. T's not the connection. It's better than that. So he's there. He's running away. Whole long story. I don't want to give away the Da Vinci Code, but he's talking on one of those little boxes that the rich people have at the gate at the front of their house. And Lee Teabing asks him a series of questions. The first one, because he's a British guy, although he lives in France. Anyway. Lee Teabing says to Robert, he says, shall I serve coffee or tea? And Robert like, replies, T, obviously. The next question is milk or lemon in the tea? Robert's reply, that would depend on the tea, which is true. One thing you never want to do is put lemon and milk in tea together. You get a, a little curdling situation. I remember Girl Scouts, we went to a fancy tea at the Hershey Pantry and some of the girls were doing that just to see the, I guess, chemical reaction. So that's the first connection I have. The second one, I found a clip and that is, I screenshotted it and it is today's picture for the morning mug. It's a picture of Tom Hanks drinking from a mug. I attempted to recreate it right here. It has some stripes on it. So this was from 2013. Um, and it was the London premiere of Saving Mr. Banks. And it was cold. He only had his, you know, he had his little tux on, but he didn't have a heavy coat. So he's there with a steaming cup of tea. And I'm wondering, was it tea or was it a design? I don't know, but it's there. So it's interesting, it has history, it is good for you, and Tom Hanks drinks it. So there we go. Little bit about tea, little spot of tea for you this evening. So whether you're watching this five days from now or you're still watching it the day that I recorded, as always, I do appreciate you and your encouragement and checking in when I don't post my mug. Um, there it is. So until next time, behave, be good, be kind, wash your hands, continue to recycle, take care of your body, have some tea or tisane.